our presentation will be based on the three parts, the baseline, the quantification, and the result. For the baseline, uh, I will only introduce the whole picture here since time is limited. If you want to know more about the details, you can look at the Excel sheet, the Excel, Excel sheet and the assumption tab. Uh, the market segments in the uh, in McDonald's, there are many four markets. The United States, the lead market, the growth market, and the foundational market. And in each market, there are two business lines, the company of friendly line and the franchise line. These two lines are uh, completely different. In the company uh, of friendly line, the revenue is calculated in this formula, and there are three kinds of costs. The material cost is from uh, is based on the revenue, and the labor cost and occupancy cost is based on the uh, numbers of restaurants. And in the franchise line, the revenue uh, there are three sources: uh, the initial fees, the royalties, and the rent. And the cost is only the occupancy cost. So uh, to fully derive these uh, revenues and expense, we uh, created 18 factors, uh, value drivers, to uh, including these uh, factors here. And by incorporating all the assumptions into the modeling, uh, we get the uh, company value. And com you can see compared with the market capitalization, uh, McDonald is overvalued about 19%. And this is the distribution of uh, company value. Uh, you can see it's interesting here that for company-operated uh, business segments, the value are mainly negative. But that's because, uh, kind of because the uh, allocation of SGNA and is one of the main reasons that the company is trying to cut its company operating segments to only 5%. And, but they need to keep this kind of segment since they need to do some innovation and to get some insights of the menu uh, from the uh, market. And this is the pie chart here. And you can see 7% uh, of the uh, positive company value are used to compensate uh, the negative uh, company value of the uh, company operated business line. Okay. Next, Jim will talk about the quantification. Okay. Uh, well, after we established the baseline company value, we also determined what the gain by risks and uh, the following 15 uh, risk scenarios. At first, we have the foreign exchange rates risk. As a, as a large international uh, fast food uh, provider, McDonald's pro performance is significantly dependent on the foreign exchange change rate fluctuation. And here we consider the uh, impact of the trade war between China and the US, uh, which will influence the uh, uh, FX rate in the high growth market. And as you can see here, we have a table to illustrate our assumptions, our impact and things will uh, show a bar chart which demonstrates the uh, impact of all uh, 15 risks I won't, I won't uh, get into much detail here. And next, second risk is uh, economic risk. We considered uh, the household disposable income uh, impact on the uh, our business performance in both aspects of the uh, unit sold and the selling price. And Further, we also consider the McDonald's own business <coughs> decisions in the competitive markets, which more specifically uh, refers to the uh, impact of issuing coupons. Uh, and uh, uh, in factors influence would be the uh, units sold, per, uh, meals sold, and the uh, price per, uh, per unit, and uh, potentially incurred uh, one time SGNA fee. And the fourth risk is uh, supply chain risk. We considered uh, there could be a drought happening in Asia and potentially spread to the Europe, which will uh, do harm to the uh, harvest of wheat and further influence the perf performance uh, in both the high growth markets and lean markets. And next, I will pass to my teammate Chen to introduce the last risk and the resulting conclusions of our analysis. Okay, the 
last risk is operational risk process. Uh, we imagine a scenario that the company violated food, food, food safety process and caused food poisoning to the customers. And this will increase the uh, SG&A cost because of litigation fee and decrease the sales volume of per, uh, per restaurant. And uh, here is impact on this scenario. Here is the three scenario and it's like a is respective likelihood and uh, in company value impacts. The last I'll talk about result and conclusion. In this part, we will figure out which risk factor has the most impact on the company's value. And uh, the first metric is five-year revenue CGR. And look, when you look at these risk factors, you can see the process and, it, and economic risk, uh, dispos uh, for example, the disposable income of the residents has, is more impactful than other risk factors in five-year revenue CGR. And the last is rent of care risk. Uh, after, after our research, uh, we figure out that the economic risk has the most impact on the baseline, on baseline value of the company. Uh, and uh, it is also noteworthy that the economic risk is positive uh, in light of booming US economy. That makes sense. That's all our presentation. Thank you. Thank you, guys.